Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to apply a color to a shape. So I've got a triangle right here, so it's a default color of black. And to make sure you you know watch the video on how to draw a simple triangle, maybe you got something like a bit more complex, a more complex shape, that's fine as well. This tutorial will be applicable to that. I'm gonna have a few other videos as well covering the different other ways that you can apply colours, you know, applying a colour to you know a different face. Know, interpolating colors but we'll cover that in separate videos so where is the color currently set because it is black and we have set that if you go down to the fragment shader frag color right here so this is the color zero 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 so if it's zero 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 it's going to be black if it's the max which is one 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 it will be white and there you go and so this is red green and blue let me put this at zero, put this one at zero, so we should get a green triangle now. That's all well and good, but if we're you reusing this fragment shader for different shapes, for different you know triangles, we don't want to have to have multiple different fragment shaders for every single color. We want to be able to pass that in so we can dynamically set the color. So, and that's what we're doing today. And so what we want to do is go up here, create another array. Let me sort of the location. Let's create another array. So it's going to be called var colors equals. And what we need is we need to do the RGB color for every single vertex. So for now, we can be 0.0, 0 0.1, 0 0.0. .0 Okay, so this would be one vertex, this would be the second one, and this would be the third vertex in the case of a triangle. If you've got a more complex shape, you, you can put more. And because this is red, green, and blue, uh, sorry, this needs to be 1.0. Because this is red, green, and blue, it means green is on for every single point. Red is off and blue is off, so we'll get a you know a red triangle so let me one second revert this back because this is reverted back to the way it was so now that we created the colors array what we need to do is after we do all the index buffer stuff but before the vertex code we need to do something similar for the color buffer so we're going to create a color buffer so var color underscore buffer equals gl dot create buffer and this is just creating an empty buffer object that allows us to store the color data uh, there we go now we need to do gl dot bind buffer gl dot array buffer and it is going to be the color buffer that we just used or created we're using it now gl dot buffer data and this is on the gl dot array for again and now we're going to do new float 32 array we're going to specify the array of colors which is colors and just going to, it's just going to be gl dot static draw like so okay so if we scroll down in our vertex code now we need to actually pass in the color attribute so what we're going to do is attribute and it's going to be a vector free so vector free Vet free color and we also what we need to do is do a varying vex free and this is what will get passed into the fragment shader so you're never passing stuff directly to fragment shader you call what you're doing is passing stuff into the vertex shader if something from there needs to go to the fragment shader or is required in the fragment shader you send it from the vertex shader and this is going this will automatically get passed in because it's a varying variable and put a semicolon put a plus and what we need to do in here you can do it afterwards is just say v color does the vertex color equals color like so so now if we go down to the fragment shader what we need to do is First of all, specify the precision level. So precision low P float. 
So you can do medium P or high P. For colors, low P should suffice. For stuff like textures, you want medium or high precision. But again, feel free to experiment and see what works best. I found for this video, for what we're doing here, this is this will suffice. Now, we need to actually get that variable. So do varying vec3 v color semicolon plus i need a plus over here and instead of doing this we're going to say the color and then let's have a look do we need anything else yes we do we need to bind the color buffer so after we've done the binding for the index buffer right where do we do it right here but before we enable the vertex before we clear color all we need to do now is gl dot bind buffer gl dot array buffer color buffer and now we need to actually get the location of the attribute so var color equal gl dot get attribute location specify the shader program which we created in a previous video color and so this is what you know we're actually passing in for here and next we need to just you know specify so we need to what do we need to do we need to enable the vertex attribute array and actually before that we need to actually point the attribute to the color buffer object so gl dot vertex attribute pointer color free gl dot float false zero and zero okay so semicolon finally we need to enable it so gl dot enable vertex attribute array and we are just enabling color semicolon we should be good to go we don't need to modify anything on here reload we get green it is working so if you scroll up and let's say if i've made all of these a zero and made all of these a one we get a blue now now let's say if i made all of these a one so we get red and blue mixed together is that purple i believe yeah or is it pink pink so there you go <coughs> sorry about that and i will revert this back to the way it was that's what's in the source code and there we go so also let me make one of the changes i made this change on the source code side for this video it is index buffer array like this okay so we get around 107 let's fix that Okay, there we go. So that is how you apply a color to a shape. Obviously, you will look at the more advanced ways of doing this for different faces, different vertices, you know, go into all that cool stuff. But yeah, for, you know, pop me a message and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.